It's a tricky word to say. Uh, My stomach hurts. What a fun game to play. play. You pronounce it. Let's try it together now. Ah, oh, yeah. It's weekdays at 4.30 starting September 6th. Hold on, did they just say two different things? You pronounce it. It's the host and the narrator just directly contradicted each other. I'm gonna make a video about something totally unrelated to that. 10 days. I gave myself 10 days. Don't say a gosh darn thing about the background. It's not unfinished. You're unfinished. Leading up to Christmas a few weeks ago, I saw a bad amount of ads for perfumes and colognes. I suppose it's a pretty good gift to get for somebody if you're not exactly sure what to get for them, right? Wrong. Picking out a perfume or cologne might be the biggest shot in the dark you take in your whole life. Do you have any idea how subjective and personal scent preferences are? Have you ever thought about that? No, you only think about yourself. Something that you think smells delectable could be putrid to somebody else. Do you like the words I'm using? <laughs> Sometimes even the slightest whiff of a particular scent could give somebody a headache. So I suppose the best way to be able to shop for somebody is to A, know that they like wearing perfume or cologne in the first place, and then B, know exactly which brand they would be willing to actually wear. But that's not exciting. You don't wanna open up a gift already knowing exactly what it's gonna be. Where's the fun in that? Oh, actually, I like knowing exactly what I'm gonna get. It alleviates any anxious feelings I might get, uh, and it assures myself and the person buying the gift for me that I'm gonna enjoy it no matter what, and I won't have to put on a phony face. Can you just stop? I know. I'm trying to set the video up. I know we all have preferences and everybody's different. I get it. I was just trying to- I know what you were trying to do. It's fine. But can I just do this without you always trying to contradict me? I like contradicting you. I'm aware. Probably gonna keep doing it. You are the reason my hair is turning gray. Okay, now the only thing standing between you and the perfect fragrance is a lack of knowledge of what it smells like. Enter commercials. Commercials can teach you about a product, keep you informed on your potential purchasing decisions. So, you know, a perfume or cologne ad should be able to do that same thing for you, right? Wrong again! Yeah. As I want people wonderland. One million. Fragrance for Men by Paco Rabanne. So what the f*** just happened there, huh? Come on up to the front and write down on the board for the rest of the class what the f*** just happened, would ya? Why are perfume ads so weird? What does this mean? What, what does any of this mean? If you're watching an ad and you see an astronaut come riding in on a massive goose like a horse, nine times out of ten, the end is gonna be like, Par Juan Blanc les fraisures and new fragrance from Louis Vuitton. It's exhausting. There are a few different kinds of fragrance ads. Uh, you've got the celebrity partnerships, the acid trips, and the semi-self-aware. It's kind of a Venn diagram with a healthy amount of overlap, but let's start with the celebrity partnerships. The first real cologne that I ever owned was Usher. Um, it was a collaboration with the Click 5, believe it or not. No, I'm joking. It was that asshat who disrespected T-Pain to his face for no reason. Being an arrogant jerk aside, this stuff smells immaculate. The tricky thing though is that you might hate the way that this smells. You'd be wrong and no longer welcome in my home, please leave. But you might feel that way. I also owned the Usher Raymond version of the cologne. Now I'm not smart or sophisticated enough to know if these are actually different scents, but I have convinced myself that they are. And I like them both for different reasons. So I really, it'd be awkward if they were just the exact same scent. <laughs> yes, these are the original bottles. I've had them for over a decade. I don't wear cologne very often. Mitchell Davis is single-handedly the reason that I bought both of these. So shout out Live Lava Live. The only commercial they ever made for it was this one. It shows Usher really squeezing this lady. They're all intertwined, tangled into each other's loving embrace. With the way they're twisted up, you'd think the cologne smelled like a pretzel. <laughs> But most other celebrity partnerships end up dipping into that acid trip territory that I talked about earlier. And I think the best way to describe that is just to show you one of them. Holy smokes, look at him go. Freaking just yucking it. I quench that thirst. What exactly am I seeing here? Burberry Hero. 
the new fragrance for men. Okay, so Adam Driver is a centaur in this ad. I don't believe I caught an explanation as to what the cologne actually smells like. I was a little distracted, to be fair. How about I just look it up? Okay. Um, so based off of this, I'm taking away that it's kind of a woody smell, perhaps? Okay, yeah, well, okay, right there, literally, woody. I nailed it. Not seeing anything about the ocean, though or horses for that matter. Funny enough, it says right here that one of the odors is dry, which is the opposite of the ocean. The ocean is wet, as far as I'm concerned. Clearly the idea with these is that they're selling you a feeling as opposed to a product. Years ago, I talked about the Chevy Real People ad campaign that they were doing. They might still be doing it, I have not paid attention, but those were doing the exact opposite of these. Ultimately, I do prefer the approach of selling the benefits over selling the features of a product because every cologne has the same features, right? They make you smell good when used in moderation and it's usually a pretty bottle that will look good on your bathroom countertop and that's about it. But the benefits of cologne Oh, now that is where you can get sexy with it, my friend. So think about it like this one, Robert Pattinson. He's a man that a lot of women find very appealing, very attractive, very desirable. And in this particular commercial, he comes off as this confident badass. I wanna be a confident badass that women are attracted to. Also, judging by a lot of these comments, there's gonna be a lot of husbands and boyfriends getting these as gifts because their significant other wants them to smell and be like Robert Pattinson. So, you know, two birds with one stone. I've just been showing cologne ads so far because that's kind of what I know but the perfume commercials are the same way. Here's a desirable woman. She's being independent, having fun, living it up, baby. She's riding a horse for goodness sake. I want that to be me. I don't give a crap what the perfume smells like so long as it makes me feel like this. Going around the table, we're all in pretty strong agreement that this perfume gives off commitment issues. Energy, right? We're rolling with that one. Okay, run it. We all have such tiny little dumb brains that as much as we'll scoff at it thinking, oh, I could never fall for advertising like this. I never fall for advertising. Subconsciously, most of us do. I think people are becoming more aware of the manipulative tricks that ads use. Uh, so maybe eventually it won't work the same way that it always has. But, you know, there's a reason this formula has been used for so many years. But all of these commercials feature well-known celebrities. That's the initial hook. No, 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 they... Oh, shit. I know that gal. Tis Lady Gaga. What's she doing in the dang woods? And not every fragrance commercial features an A-list face. So their hook needs to be a little sharper. <laughs> All right, five seconds in and we've been visually assaulted multiple times. We've got an Abercrombie and Fitch catalog having an arm wrestling contest. Loving the vending machine tattoos. This is definitely what sailors look like. Just me and the boys lathering up on the pier. Guy stuff, you wouldn't get it. Michael Schofield plucking away at a uke. These are your typical seamen activities. Let's see where it goes from here. Where is this? <laughs> I feel like a fever dream seeped out into the real world for a minute here. Everybody's sexy. Distractions everywhere. Lucy Hale looking right at the camera. There's no rules. Now our hero has to make a choice, okay? The boys are all up in his grill. Like, come on, man. Ignore that lady. Don't you want to arm wrestle with us instead? Pretty tempting, I don't know. But he breaks free and makes his way to that sweet meat on the lighthouse. Probably, ugh, bad phrasing. Look at him go, man. So inspirational. Oh. Oh, yuck. Why is there a kid all of a sudden? This whole ad I've been led to believe we're at an adults-only swingers resort, and just before we cross the finish line, you stick a kid in my face? What the freaking heck is wrong with you? Absolutely unnecessary. And that's saying a lot in a commercial where pretty much everything was absolutely unnecessary. <laughs> this brand has all kinds of weird ads. There's another one where there's a room full of what can only be described as bloodthirsty 1% elites. And they're watching Archie Andrews just lay into a punching bag. Then this PG flirty scene 
causes the foundation of the building that they're in to just crack? Holy sh! The terror in those screams! Wow. <laughs> Are we selling perfume here, guys? What kind of emotions are they trying to evoke with this one? Fear? I was on board, you know? It was it was kind of a fun ad. I was on board until the blood-curdling screams of these... Uh, these... These... These victims! Scandale. Le parfum féminin de Jean-Paul Gaultier. There's a different ad for another company where a gaggle of ladies are spying on this naked man without his knowledge through a one-way mirror? That is some freshman year hazing level debauchery, and I'm not on board with it. There's one where this lady short circuits and does what some might describe as a beautifully artistic interpretive dance. I would not be one of those people. I wish I had never seen this. How about the one where this guy just snaps his fingers a bunch and shimmies around the void for a minute? Critics are calling it better than the James Bond movie. So, all of this feels a little strange, doesn't it? Some might call it nonsensical pretentiousness coming from high-end fashion brands that walked right off of that awkward big city runway onto our television screens. I would never say that, but there are rumblings around. I've heard, I, I heard some people say that they might feel that way. Back me up on this, guys. Hello? And just like high-end fashion, these fragrance commercials have one goal, to evoke emotion and to make money. Two goals, evoke emotion and make money. Does the sailor boy kissing the siren lady make me wanna buy Jean-Paul Gaultier? Not even, literally not at all. <laughs> but now I've seen this bottle, it's in my brain. Maybe someday I'm at the right place at the right time. I'm feeling frisky. You know, I walk past a kiosk in the mall and I pick up one of these bottles because it's been subconsciously planted in my brain as interesting, you know? That's advertising, baby. I mean, kind of. It's There's nuance to it, and there's a lot of psychology that goes into it, but that's part of advertising, at least. The difference between these high-end brands and something like, say, Axe or Old Spice is that Axe and Old Spice don't take themselves so seriously. They're still selling feelings, okay? Don't get me wrong. Axe wants you to get laid so bad, dude. Like, seriously, they want you to touch a lady more than anything. And Old Spice is a freaking meme, okay? They were in every single locker room across the nation at one point, and they leaned into that silliness. I respect Axe and Old Spice a thousand times more than I respect any of these other brands. Because at least they know what they are. They're not trying to be... These, these artistic weird ads are so safe. Which is weird to think about, right? It's the safest way to make a fragrance commercial. They're literally just doing what everybody else is doing. Yeah, they're incredibly bizarre and confusing on the surface. But when every single company is doing the exact same thing, is it really even unique? No, you're just being weird. If it sells perfume, it sells perfume. So like, who am I to say that? But that's just my own personal opinion about it. I'd rather see you get in the ring and throw some punches than to just dance around and avoid getting hit the entire fight, you know? I would love to see one of these companies try something new for once. No more black and white filters, okay? No more cheekbones and tuxedos. Everybody else's tobacco is poisonous. Lucky Strikes is toasted. Snow Dad's better than No Dad, baby! All that being said, every single one of these commercials are light years better than that freaking Facebook metaverse commercial that was playing last year. I mean, my God. This is the most infuriating thing I've ever seen, and I used to watch Caillou as a kid. So put that into perspective. <sighs> Not right. That's enough about fragrances. The Struggle Bug plushie will be available for pre-order one week from today, next Friday. Isn't it just the cutest little guy? It's maybe not the cutest, It's but it's cute. You know, let's temper expectations here. He's got his little swim trunks on. He's got his team yellow. He's always repping team yellow. And he has his, you know, ambiguous, non-labeled, clearly Canadian bottle uh, so as to not get into legal trouble. Or you could just, you know, tell yourself it's a reference to the Got Milk video and maybe it's just a little bit of milk. There need to be 200 pre-orders for this to even get made, which is a, f I mean, that's, <laughs> that's such an insane number. <laughs> but if you want it or you know somebody that might want it, let's try to hit that ridiculous goal, huh? If we can pre-order 200 of those, I'll do something, I'll do something. We'll talk about it because that would be like the biggest achievement of my entire career. <laughs> Kramer Lodge stuff, that merch that uh, came out last month, it is finally gonna ship next week, okay? Thank you so much for your incredible patience on that. Things move a little slower 
in this neck of the woods with small little companies like that. I hope you all have a delightful rest of your day. Thank you to my patrons, those that are listed here in the top tier. You guys smell incredible. But that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching and liking and subscribing if you chose to do those things. But for now, have a great rest of your day. Goodbye. I've been drunk and dropped my body in the